For many small business owners, the COVID-19 pandemic has necessitated a rethinking on how to earn a living and has led some of those small business owners to look to religion for guidance. Well, the owner of a prominent dance school often considered closing her doors temporarily, but she relied on her faith and what she describes as living on the word, one page at a time. Our prayers that God continues to bless you. Here's your check. For Anaya Michelle, receiving this check as a grant for her financially struggling dancing school is a result of staying close to her faith. Regardless of what your faith is, there are a lot of risks obstacles, hurdles that you have to overcome. The hurdle to overcome losses due to the COVID-19 pandemic, like many businesses, Layla's dance and drum was hit incredibly hard, losing a great portion of its enrollment and its staff. Operating in the pandemic made it challenging because in the past we were able to fundraise and rely on the community to really raise enough revenue to fill in the gaps. But now we're looking at a situation where literally the entire world is in a, a financial struggle. Never losing hope, Anayo knew that asking for the funds from people who are dealing with uncertainty and financial duress would be almost impossible. That was something that the pandemic made very unique. Through all these months, she's still been standing, trusting, believing God. She still knows something is going to come through for her. Jan Marie Jones has a daughter who attends the dance school. She's also the first time author of a book entitled Affirm the Word, a book that has over 700 affirmations of words that coincides with the challenges that people face on a day to day basis. Anger, anxiety, loneliness and pick a scripture that coincides with that, that you can learn how to speak and then memorize and then apply to your life when you face those challenges. Jones reached out to those who purchased the book and simply asked, how are you using the book to stand on God's word and affirm that word in your lives? From those that responded, she met Anaya Michelle. In the midst of writing this whole book, one of the things that I've always wanted to do, and I believe I've always been, is be a philanthropist. And I believe that when God blesses us, he blesses us to be a blessing to other people. So my hope with this book was to make sure that whatever proceeds we receive from it, because again, I had no idea I would even produce it, make sure that we give something back. Well, Affirm the Word is a biblical reference that provides you a lot of the memes, so to speak, in today's era, the guidance, the words that you need to keep you pressing on, to keep you moving forward, despite the many, many, many obstacles that you'll face as a small business owner, as a small business owner in a pandemic. Anayo thought about closing the dance school at the end of 2020, but knows that only God will call her to do so. When I just did not feel called to close the school right now, I feel that the arts are integral to not only the, our lives during a pandemic, but to society in general. And as long as I have some way to keep our school open, I will keep our school open. To purchase your copy of Affirm the Word, this spiritual practice of speaking and living God's Word, and to learn more about the author, J. Marie Jones, go to affirmtheword.org. I've often highlighted the aspects of the pandemic and how it has impacted communities differently. Now, Black and Hispanic owners have grappled to keep their doors from closing, and it all starts with the economic impact on lower-income Americans. According to a recent Pew Research, 46% of low-income Americans say they have trouble paying their bills, and 32% overall say it's hard to pay their rent or their mortgage, and 50% of adults lost their job due to the pandemic and the outbreak and are still unemployed.